With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In the circuit shown in figure, the current flowing through 25 volt cell is they have given you a circuit where you have 25 volt cell here. So for this, the current flowing through this 25 volt cell, you have to find it out. And here, other than this 25 volt, you can see in the circuit, you have uh, four different cells connected in parallel. That is 30 volt, 20 volt, 5 volt and 10 volt connected in parallel. And along with that, the internal resistances are also present. So let us uh, write all the values here. When the cells are connected in parallel, they have E1 as uh, 10 volt, E2 as uh, 5 volt, E3 with 20 volt and E4 with 30 volt. Now correspondingly their internal resistances are 5 ohm, R2 is equal to 10 ohms, again R3 is equal to 5 ohms and R4 is equal to 11 ohms. Now when 4 resistors are connected in a parallel, their equivalent resistance will be equal to 1 by R equivalent is 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 plus 1 by R4. So when you simplify this, substituting all the R values here, 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 11. So on simplification, you will get R equivalent as 1.69 ohms. This is R equivalent for all the four cells. Similarly, we will find the equivalent voltage. That is uh, E equivalent by R equivalent is equal to E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 plus E3 by R3 plus the fourth cell E4 by R4. So in this R equivalent also we have calculated so substituting all the values you will get it as 10 by 5 plus 5 by 10 plus 20 by 5 plus 30 by 11 into R equivalent. R equivalent is 1.69 ohms. Now again simplifying all these values uh, you can just see that oh, okay. You can see here the second cell, the second battery is connected in opposite direction, right? So while you write the equation, you will be writing it with an opposite sign. So here you have to use it as minus E2 by R2. So here also same thing you have to change. It will be minus E2 by R2 like this. Now this when you simplify it, you will get it as uh, 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 4 plus 30 by 11 into 1.69 and so here 4 plus 2 you have 6 uh, uh, 6 minus half you will do it uh, that is uh, half is 0. 0.5 so it will be 5.5 5 plus 30 divided by 11 gives you 2.727 into 1.69 so that gives you E equivalent as 13.904 volt so this is the equivalent EMF you have. So now this whole circuit is now divided into you can say it like uh, a one equivalent circuit. We shall write that equivalent circuit now. So in this uh, while you write the equivalent circuit now all the four e batteries will be replaced with one battery and so you will get it as like this one battery which runs with 25 volt another battery here you have an internal resistance and this will be connected like this so this is uh, E equivalent and this is R equivalent this is 25 volt 
and let us say that here i is the current flowing through it so now when i is the current flowing through this we shall apply kirchhoff's voltage law so using kvl what you get for this see uh, this is uh, minus 25 plus 4.68 sorry it's 25 plus 13.904 right so it's 25 plus 13.904 plus i into the internal resistance is 1.69 is equal to 0 so when you simplify this out you will get the final so when you simplify this out you will get i value as 6.56 ampere this is the current from the 25 volt battery that is what they have asked no the current flowing through 25 volt battery they have asked and so the 25 volt battery comes to be 6.56 ohms for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today